Hello, I'm Bradley Wood, the Applications Engineering Manager for CMP Filters. Today, I'm here to discuss CMP filter selection criteria for fab use. When selecting filters for fab facilities or point of use, there are a few key criteria that must be considered. First, the slurry properties, such as abrasive type, pH, or weight percent solids. Next, how many points of filtration will be used in the process? Is this a single filter operation, or will there be loop filters as well as POU filters? Is there a specific problem that we are hoping to resolve? This often helps guide the level of filtration the customer is looking for. We'll start with the slurry abrasive, as that has the biggest impact. The majority of processes utilize silica or ceria. Other abrasives are used out there, but we'll focus on these two main types. Silica is net easier to retain, and our filters retain well, so the level of improvement depends on the customer's current filter usage. It could be something as simple as a single step improvement, going down one or more pore ratings, or ensuring the customer is utilizing the correct filter for their mean particle size, or MPS. Ceria is more difficult to retain in filtration due to the higher particle velocity driven by the density of the material. It's like comparing the velocities of a feather and a rock as they fall. The velocity is much slower in silica, like a feather might be, versus ceria, which is much faster like a rock. Suggestions for ceria retention improvement generally include decreasing the pore rating by one or more increments. Next, let's discuss the points of filtration in the process. When we discuss the pore rating of a filter, we usually are looking at where the filter is going to be used to ensure it will have sufficient flow across its lifetime. Typically, facilities and subfab filters, or what we call a loop filter, are recommended a more open pore rating to facilitate lower pressure drop and the ability to catch the largest particles. Depending on the slurry, these recommendations vary, as they tend to be based on process-specific requirements. When you move to the point of use or point of dispense, the recommendations are typically tighter in order to catch all large particles and support high yield for polish on wafer. Again, this will be process specific, but depending on the type of process issues, we can help our customers find a solution that will work best for them. At Integris, we see a lot of filtration systems and have worked with customers in the past to improve their slurry delivery performance. Since we manufacture all the components, we have a lot of expertise on these systems and can make strong recommendations on which areas to focus on to make improvements. If you see issues in your fab related to polish performance and you believe improving your filtration could help, please contact your sales team member and have them get in touch with the filtration team at Integris.